Hey, we're starting in a new book of the Bible. We're going to be reading some Psalms. I'm reading from the New Revised Standard Version. I'll give you a moment to follow along in your Bible. In my distress, I cry to the Lord that he may answer me. Deliver me, O Lord, from lying lips, from a deceitful tongue. What shall be given to you? And what more shall be done to you, you deceitful tongue? A warrior's sharp arrows with glowing coals of the broom tree. Woe is me that I am an alien in Meshach, that I must live among the tents of Kedar. Too long have I had my dwelling among those who hate peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. If you've been following these Quarantine's daily Bible readings, you may have noticed that previously we've started at the beginning of a book of the Bible and worked our way through. But there are 150 Psalms, and so if we went straight through the book of Psalms, it would take us almost a half a year to get from beginning to the end. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to read some of the Psalms beginning today with Psalm 120. And we'll take a break and read a different book of the Bible, and maybe then we'll come back and read some more of the Psalms. Each Psalm is a poem, and most likely actually originally a song, that's about God and that helps us understand things about God and ourselves. Some of them are beautiful. Some of them are powerful, some of them are tender, some of them are angry, but God speaks to us through each one of them. I appreciated the very first line in today's psalm, Psalm 120, In my distress I cry to the Lord. I've been doing that some lately, maybe you have too. What's going on, God? Help this world that you've created. The writer of the psalm has had enough. Too long have I had my dwelling among those who hate peace. I am for peace, but when I speak they are for war. What have you had too much of? Have you had too much of being without work and worried about when your next paycheck might come? Have you had too much of being inside and not being able to see family and friends? Have you had too much of the injustice of the world and too much feeling powerless to be able to change it? Have you had too much feeling alone and without hope? The Psalms can speak to all of these feelings and more. Over and over again, they remind us to cry out to God with whatever it is that we're feeling and wherever and however life finds us. So whatever you're feeling today, whatever you have had enough of, know this, God is walking with you. You are not alone. You are loved by God who created you. Take good care, and I'll see you tomorrow as we read together Psalm 121. <clears throat>